my name is Elizabeth Mackingbell, and I'm the founder of the Peace of Mind Foundation, which is a nonprofit dedicated to obsessive compulsive disorder. Peace of Mind Foundation is a nonprofit foundation dedicated to obsessive compulsive disorder. I created the foundation in 2005 with the goals and hopes that really we would increase education and access to care for people living with OCD. And so that's exactly what we do. We are a refer referral resource, we're an educational uh, resource, and then also we try our best to make sure we're promoting and pushing treatments and resources that are rooted in evidence-based or effective care. So when I was diagnosed with OCD at 12, it took three years before I could get proper treatment and it took us traveling across the country. And that was something that really bothered me. I didn't understand why it was so difficult when I lived in Houston, Texas, biggest medical center in the world, why it was so hard to find treatment that I needed for my illness. And that really started me kind of started my passion for and my belief that things need to change and that I need to somehow be a part of that. And then after treatment, so five, five plus years later, when I kind of learned how to manage my illness and could reflect back on what allowed me to get to where I am now, one of the biggest things that allowed me to get where I am is finances. My parents were able to afford treatment that most people can't afford, and that just bothers me at my core. And so those are really the two reasons I wanted to change treatment, uh, or sorry, the two reasons I wanted to start the foundation a, to be able to change the landscape, increase treatment and accessibility to it, and B, decrease the costs that are associated. You know, I hope that Peace of Mind can teach people a lot of different things, but I think the two things we do best is we try to provide good educational content from leading experts, whether it's Dr. Storch speaking about treating kids with OCD or Dr. Jenicky talking about medication. We try to pull from the most well-known content experts. But the second piece is I hope from peace of mind, people can feel connected. You know, a lot of what all of us in the OCD world do, and I think a lot of us can speak to, is the importance of being a part of a community and building a community for other people with OCD. And so that I hope peace of mind can help people get good education and feel like they're part of a community. So anyone who wants to access it can go to www.peaceofmind.com. You can also go to the Peace of Mind Foundation on our Facebook page. And then of course, there's lots of other social media avenues and platforms, but you will find content and you'll find the ability to be a part of a community. So again, whether that means you go on our website and you wanna learn more about specific types of OCD, whether it's violent or sexual intrusive thoughts or what treatment's out there, or I'm a parent and I want some tips for parenting a kid with OCD, that's on our website. And if you go to our foundation's uh, Facebook page, so the Peace of Mind Foundation, I hope that you're gonna be able to find that community piece. And so what I mean by that is we host monthly webinars that we live stream. I do a live with Liz the first and third Wednesday of every month. And then we also now do an online goals group so that people wherever you are across the world for free can join and feel part of a community that can help talk to you about ERP and treatment that works for OCD. So OCD Challenge, you can go to www.ocdchallenge.org to learn more or to join, but it's a free interactive self-help website. We're live in six languages, and the point of OCD Challenge is to adjunct treatment that you're already getting, so to be an additional resource for ERP, to be used as a relapse prevention tool, and then of course to be used as a self-help tool if you live in an area where nothing else is available or because of different resources you can't access appropriate or effective ERP care with a provider, you can use the website to help you along the way. And so it's a free website, um, totally funded and subsidized by the foundation, and it really was developed to just help you know get the word out about ERP to more people worldwide. Uh -huh.